Hello, in this short video I'm going to show you how to insert glass eyes into a vintage or a handmade teddy bear. The same technique can be used on dolls and other sorts of soft toys as well, but remember because these are glass eyes and they're not safety eyes, they're not suitable for children's toys. The first decision you need to make is what size eye you're going to use for your bear. With this one, it's quite easy to play around with the eyes because the original eyes have left little indentations. So if I try these eyes, for instance, I think these are looking too big. Yeah, those are too big for me. Let's try a smaller size. That's too small, I think. For the look I want for this bear, yeah. Yeah, that's the look I want. So that's fine for that one. With this little one, this is a handmade bear that I've made using one of the kits on my website. Um, and I'm going to use bobblehead pins here to try, just to give me an idea of where I want my eyes to be. It's good to think about it before you start putting them in. That's a bit close together for my liking. If we move them further out, gives her quite a different look. Bring them in a little bit more. Yeah, perfect. Next you need extra strong thread. E uh, upholstery thread is good for this too, but it needs to be strong because you'll be pulling it tight when you insert the eyes and you don't want it to snap. You need to get a piece that's long enough that you can double it once, double it twice, and it's, it's double the width of the head. Once you've got your thread doubled, put it onto your glass eye. Now I've got both of my eyes ready, you now need a doll needle or a very long needle. You need to insert it into the bear's head where you want the eye to be placed and exit it around here. You can actually see on this one, this is where the original eyes were attached, which actually I'll pull that out. Like this. Turn your face bare to face you again, and now you need to thread all of these ends here through the needle. I'm going to use a needle threader to make it easier. So you've got your eye on your thread going through the needle and the needle coming out here. You now pull your needle through take your needle off and there's one eye and you leave the thread hanging. You now repeat 
that with the other eye on the other side. And pull the needle. Needle off. got two sets of threads at the back. Now you need to make a knot of the threads just once and pull it tight. So now you can see the eyes are in. You can, before you tie this again, just make sure it's the eyes are where you want them to be. If you pull tighter, as you can see here, it changes the bear's face. And if we just go back to the back again, once you're happy with the eyes, you tie another knot. If you can, push at the same time as knotting. Now you want to put your needle back in the same hole and have it coming out somewhere like this. And now these threads and these threads need to go through the eye of the needle. Put all the ends through the eye of the needle. Keep these ends here short, don't have them too long, otherwise they can get tangled up in the head. And pull through, there you go, so they come through here. Then with a little pair of sharp scissors, pull it as tight as you can and cut. And they should disappear. So now you've got a little knot and bear that can see. I'm just going to show you as well with this one, when you've got the bobble headed pins in, all you do is move the pin out slightly, insert your needle where the pin is, alongside the pin, and Try and come out as low down as you can, so it's hidden. So right down here is great. And repeat the whole process of threading the ends of the thread through the needle. And there you have it with Carly, with her eyes in now, from the Carly kit on the website and this lovely little vintage bear with his eyes in the game. I hope you find that useful.